So back in the late 80s when I was just a little tiny kid I was obsessed with dino riders it was all the rage in the late 80s for dinosaur loving kids and I had a couple of the larger uh, battery operated figures uh, the brontosaurus and the triceratops and they took like these giant like sea batteries or something uh, but they were so cool came with like little mini figures and all that armor was just awesome and I've always kind of loved dino riders I don't collect it uh, today, but um, it's always kind of there, you know, in the back of my mind, and uh, I kind of remember it as being such an awesome, you know, 80s thing. And since Mattel got the Jurassic license back in uh, 2018, I've always wanted to build sort of a modern take on the Dino Riders T Rex and uh, decided to start working on it uh, earlier this year. Uh, sometime back in February, I think I started to uh, plan it out in my head, and uh, it was a, a daunting task, actually. Um, I had this bite and fight T-Rex, and it actually had broken, so I had to sort of customize it to be permanently in one position. Uh, the legs do move and the tail still moves, but the head uh, and the arms are kind of fixed together. But the armor was proving to be di more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Like I have a bunch of stuff in my parts bin and I just started cutting things out and, you know, tearing things apart and trying to see what parts would fit together to do what. And I, I kind of worked out to where I built this platform that would sit on this harness that would go on the back of the T-Rex for a human to sit on. And this was sort of like my base that I was going to build off of. So over the past couple of months, I was working on it a little bit here and there. I just kind of kept hitting a creative wall. I couldn't figure out how to get parts to fit. And then I just sort of stopped building it and then recently picked it back up earlier this week. And uh, this right here is sort of the finished product. Now this is just a kit bash of a bunch of different uh, cheap military parts from vehicles. Uh, a lot of that kid connection stuff from Walmart. There's like a parts of the submarine, the little arm claws on here are from the submarine. Uh, there's like parts from a boat on here. Uh, there's a bunch of Lego parts. The little ball joints that hold the little uh, mechanical T-Rex arms on are, are Lego parts. And uh, just a bunch of other little tiny pieces that I've glued together and attached to this sort of frame that will now sit on top of the T-Rex. And uh, this thing actually just looks really awesome. Uh, it took me forever to get this thing built and there's no real instructional video on like, let me show you exactly how to do it. That would, assuming that you would have all these parts, but this video is actually just more to inspire you and kind of show you what like a little imagination and some creativity uh, can do, especially if you uh, have a bunch of these random vehicle parts laying around and just like Lego parts and stuff like that. Uh, you can actually make some really cool customs. So the armor is painted and primed all in black and I decided to go with black. I feel like it would be easier to paint from darker to lighter and uh, I really wanted to just do a real basic paint job on this nothing fancy or complicated so I've got some of this uh, silver aluminum um, airbrush paint and I'm going to just dry brush the surface of this uh, entire uh, armor piece and uh, if you've seen my custom vehicle videos before you know a little dry brushing goes a long way uh, it doesn't have to be super crazy super detailed so I'm just taking some of this uh, aluminum paint and just dry brushing it over all the areas and kind of leaving that black in the recesses gonna sort of act as like shadow and grime and grease and stuff like that and it really has an awesome sort of futuristic vibe to it and I really dig it uh, I like I said I'm not gonna add a ton of colors to it I'm gonna accent a few areas with some red uh, these little things that stick off the side kind of look like laser cannons to me so I figured you know we'll paint the tips of those things red but as for the T-Rex itself I uh, decided to go with sort of an homage to the original artwork you can see here and uh, the T-Rex there is sort of orange with green and again this paint job isn't going to be super difficult or you know complicated anything like that because he's going to be wearing armor so you're not really going to see a ton of detail or anything like that mainly in the face is about it uh, but uh, just painting it orange then going back over it with the green and then highlighting some you know dry brushed areas and painting the eye red a little black pupil and painting inside of the mouth and then the t-rex has these like white claws of course white claws just look awesome against this orange skin but in terms of paint that's pretty much it for the paint job on the t-rex it's a very very basic paint job and i'll move on down here and i've also got some armor uh, for the ankle area again this is another piece you know that i have no idea what it's from it was just in a box of stuff that i had but i took my heat gun and i heated the plastic up till it was really really soft and then i molded it to the ankle area on the rex 
and uh, that way it just kind of clicks right in and uh, stays in place and then I painted it silver with some red details to match the armor up top. I've also got these hoses that I'm going to clip onto the mechanical T-Rex arms, sort of act like a hydraulic um, fluid hoses or something like that that sort of control it. Uh, just little extra details like that that sort of take it to the next level and the, uh, the wires sticking out just make it look really cool, sort of futuristic looking armor. I love it. I'm also going to add some of these rocket launchers to the side of the brain box area and these are from Zuru uh, Dino Strike figures. And um, I, the way that I built it, they uh, just sort of snap right on and still they can move up and down and everything like that. So uh, they still sort of maintain their usability. But we'll go ahead and pop the armor on here and you can see uh, just how awesome this thing looks. Uh, this was a really stressful and fun and annoying build all at the same time. But I'm glad to finally be done and uh, get this video out for you guys. And hopefully it has inspired you and maybe sparked a little creativity. And you guys can get out there and kit bash your your own custom Dino Riders figures. If you do, remember to tag me over on Instagram at Ted Brothers. I always love to see what you guys can come up with. For more Jurassic related content, you know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.